with your eyes. I didn't fell in love, love. I didn't fell in love with your eyes. I didn't fell in love with your eyes. What's up you guys welcome to my channel my name is Kiara Chanel but I go by Keeks Keeks on the beat Keeks with the cheeks Kiwi whichever one is fine with me today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me situation so we're just going to hop right into the video I am going to be using hair from Jonas wig that is the name of the company Jonas Giannis I'm not sure how to pronounce it but they will be sponsoring today's video I was sent a straight lace frontal wig 13 by 4 180% density in the length 24 inches right here I'm just showing you guys the construction of the wig and y'all already know what I'm about to say stop advertising lace frontals or whatever the case may be to be 13 by 4 if you're only gonna give us two inches on the side I'm sick of doing that I'm sick of it and it also just proves my point that these wigs they've been cheating us y'all they have been cheating us this is not a 180 percent density wig and then you would think because they cut out the size by two inches that we would have more hair in the wig no i don't know what they got going on but they just need to get together so um yeah that was definitely one of my biggest pet peeves with this wig but one thing that i really liked about this wig was the hairline the hairline was so freaking good y'all like look this is me right now just hot combing it but y'all i have not even i haven't even begun to pluck the hairline yet and it looks pretty decent that's always a plus when you're working with wigs because as you guys can see i don't have that much to do so i'm basically just going in and plucking just behind what they already plucked because while it is plucked and pretty and all that good stuff you can definitely see the line of demarcation you can definitely see exactly where they stopped plucking so i'm just going in and fixing that up and then we're just going to move on to the next step Okay, so before I filmed this video, I went to my Instagram story and I did a poll. I asked you guys if I should do my hair bone straight or should I do body curls. And you guys voted body curls. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I don't know what size barrel this is. I want to go with, it's a one and a half. A one and a half inch barrel by Chi. Um, I'm sure I got this from Sally's. But yeah, I'm just going to be curling the hair and I'm taking really big sections because I want like very loose body curls. I don't want them to be super tight or anything like that. So I'm just going to take big sections and then curl them up and then pin them. I kind of like to start in the front because this will give the curls in the front, you know, an opportunity to set a little bit longer than the rest of the hair. When the curls do fall, the front curls aren't going to fall, you know, as quickly as the back, which is fine with me. So, yeah, I'm starting in front and then I'm also going to curl simultaneously. So anything I do on my right side, I'm going to do on my left side. This is just a little sidetrack, but follow me on Instagram, y'all, because like I said, I like to be very interactive with my followers. I'm trying to grow my following as well, but in terms of like what type of videos and type of hair tutorials, I like to ask you guys because obviously you guys are the one that's watching it. So yeah, follow my Instagram, you know, stay in the loop, help me out with my little hairstyles and whatnot, all that good stuff.
Okay, so while my curls are setting, I'm going to do like a little mini beat. This is like something I like to do when I don't want to do like a full face, but I also, you know, don't want to have like a bare face because like my hair be done. So yeah, um, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows a little bit. My eyebrows are microbladed, so I really don't have to fill them in as much. Um, and yeah, then I'm going to take some concealer. I think I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Yeah, I want to believe, I want to say I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in this video for sure. I'm going to use that to arch, I mean, carve out the bottom part of my eyebrows. And then I'm also going to take it all the way down over, over my entire lid because I am going to add a little bit of eyeshadow. But yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes. And I'm going to let the concealer underneath my eyes sit a little bit while I'm blending out the concealer that's under my eyebrows and on my eyelid. Immediately after that, I'm going to blend underneath my eyes because it has been sitting for a little bit. And one thing about that shape tape, it dries down pretty quick. So you gotta you gotta be working real fast with this concealer. Um, it gives a very good coverage, though. I really like it. Eyeshadow, I'm just using like a little burgundy red color, nothing too major, and it's just all one color. And I blended it out a little. After that, I'm gonna be taking my favorite eyelashes. You guys always ask me about what lashes I be wearing in my video, and it's always gonna be my community tab, you guys. I don't be knowing like the names and stuff, but I know for a fact this one is number 111. It's in the black packaging and whatever. But there's a picture in my community tab, so if you ever want to know, just go to that. After that, I'm going to be taking some setting powder. This is Juvia's Place Gobi. And y'all, this is the truth. I love this setting powder. Like, it gives a very soft, like, full filtering finish. Like, I just be looking fine as hell when I put this powder on underneath my eyes. And it does a really good job minimizing the creases. That's all I do to my face. And then I put my little lip liner and lip gloss on. Moving back into the install. I'm going to be cutting the lace using the razor blade. Make sure you guys are being very careful when you cut your lace because if you're not careful, you will definitely cut the fuck out of your skin. And that's not going to be a good feeling when you have to put alcohol or, you know, product or anything like that on your skin. So, I'm cutting the lace using a little jagged motion. And then I'm going to follow up with some glue because not all of the lace is tacked down. I'm using my stick and slate adhesive. You guys can find this at fromkicksboutique.com. I think my yeah my site is still down right now. So if you do want to purchase, you feel free to DM me. Um, but yes, yeah, my stick and slate adhesive. I'm gonna be using that to just tack down all of the loose ends. And then after that, I'm gonna tie my hair down, and then we're just gonna keep going. I'm not sure what type of lace this was. I'm just gonna go with it's a regular brown lace because it was very durable and I was having a little bit of trouble with melting it into my skin, but nonetheless, the look came out pretty seamless. But the lace material is definitely on a more durable side, so I'm assuming that this is a, you know, a regular brown lace or maybe like a transparent lace, but it wasn't transparent because it gave like a little brown tint to it. But yeah, it was pretty decent. It wasn't too bad, but that was just something that I noticed. at the pins for the curls and one thing about this hair y'all this hair can hold a curl so I did my hair and then shoom the curls are actually still in that wig I just took the wig off but the curls are still there they're still there guys I went outside and everything and they only fell just a little bit like the day old the two day old the three day old curls still look good y'all like very good but yeah, I'm just going to take the pins out and I'm going to do some very light layers in the front. I wasn't really going for like a dramatic layer look, layered look, although more layers would equal more volume. And that would have definitely been really good because this wasn't giving 180% density at all, baby. But yeah, 
I'm just, you know, cleaning up my part and then also um, combing out the curls to give it a more looser look. And then I'm going to be doing my baby hairs. I definitely went with big and bold baby hairs this time. So, yeah. Y'all already know the deal with the baby hairs. Make sure you cut them but not too short. Use like a small curling iron or something like that to curl them and then you proceed to lay the bitches. <laughs> thoughts about the hair first and foremost this is an initial review so just be on the lookout for when i give you guys the update i always update you guys via my instagram or via the comment section of this youtube video very rarely do i do like follow-up videos because sometimes subscribers like to buy the wigs so if someone was to buy the wig then they would be the ones to update you guys but Nonetheless, I dyed it jet black. It looked very good. The hairline was very nice, super nice. That was probably one of the, the highlights of this wig. The hair held up curl pretty well, and the luster, it's the luster for me. It's definitely giving off a very luxurious vibe. Like It's giving black women in luxury. This whole hairstyle was, it definitely screamed like sophisticated, grown lady vibes. And I definitely like that a lot. My biggest cons with this wig though, the freaking legs. 13 by four, it's only 13 by four down the middle. And I just feel like at this point, it's kind of like we're being robbed in a way. 13 by four should be 13 by four from ear to ear, you know? Not no extra curves and not no take off the sides by two inches, none of that. Also, 180% density, that's not not it that's not this wig it was definitely given 150 130 very natural looking wig 180 percent was mm -mm. i definitely feel like an extra bundle or something could have been added in here well yeah that's just my thoughts if you guys plan on purchasing this wig make sure you guys leave a comment down below and let others know your experience with it if you guys like this video hit the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so that you're aware of when i post and as always, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.